I can't hear it. <laughs> let me let me share now. Let me share now. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. <laughs> And we want to say hello and welcome. Welcome to another conversation. We're trying, we're trying to get this uh, technology thing. And that's a little portion of the video Tammy created for the virtual retreat we had last Friday. And it was amazing. Hello, Tammy. How are you? Hello, Lori. I'm doing good. And yes, it was an amazing um, virtual retreat. And we joy, enjoyed it and we enjoyed all our guests. And we, as for being grateful, we'll be um, talking about that a little bit more later. Right, Lori? Yes, we will. So let's see. I am going to check out if we are going live in the group, Tammy. I, I always need to make sure um, that is happening. But we're, we're happy. Recorded. <laughs> And we're recording and we're going live on Facebook, all those things that we need to. Oh, Pam, Pam is watching. Hello, Pam. So we are happy to be here today. And let me lower the volume. I want to say hi to Pam. How are you doing? And what are you grateful for, Pam? That is what we're going to talk about today. Exactly. So um, with Thanksgiving coming up, we thought this is a great topic. Gratitude. What are you thankful for? What are you thankful for? Let's pop, if I can talk today. So, um, you know, what is gratitude according to your definition? Gratitude is, um, and, and yes, definitely you guys comment what is gratitude to you. But I always say that, Tammy, we need to be, it's like Easter. We celebrate, or Christmas, we celebrate the death and resurrection of Jesus for those that are Christians and, and follow that. And of course, we need to th remember that whole year. But then it's so beautiful how society or our nation here in the United States devote a certain amount of time to celebrate those things, those events. The same with how the pilgrims came to um, to the United States of America in pursuit of freedom of religion, et cetera. And that is what we celebrate this week. When the pilgrims got here, when they got together, the, the diversity, like getting together and learning from each other, the Native Americans with those that came from far places. And they celebrated like what, the second or third winter uh, because there was abundance and they celebrated the harvest. So it is so amazing that that part of history happened and we're carrying it over to celebrate thankfulness, to be thankful for abundance, wealth, even adversity I'm thankful for because we grow during those times or I grow during those times. Exactly. And um, can Canada has their own Thanksgiving time, which actually makes more sense than ours, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, gratitude is typically defined as the quality of being thankful and showing appreciation for the kindness, generosity, or positive experiences one has received from others or from life in general. I love it. You know, so, and I've always looked at, um, you know, it's like when I was teaching, um, uh, it was a, uh, bio, a Bible group with like 60 kids and at one time. And I was like, why and one of the questions was why do we only do that once a year it's, right you know it's like we should be kind and thankful and grateful daily you know but um of course we're talking about this so i would love to hear what are some of people um what are some traditions they do around thanksgiving yes yes so let's see if there's some comments pam says she's fine She's thankful for family and friends who have become family. Absolutely. Absolutely. That is very important. I'm grateful for Tammy. <laughs> I've learned so much from her, her patience, her, the quality of, of, of work she, she, and effort she puts into everything she does, her passion, um, stubbornness in the sense of I she know. needs to figure things out. <laughs> and I love it. 
because that's, you know, when we think of stubbornness as a negative word, it's more perseverance and persistent is, is a more positive way to say it. And I, I've learned so much from her and we feed off of each other's like passions and skills. And I'm grateful for that. Like we um, disclosed during the real, virtual retreat, we haven't even met in person and the chemistry that's already between us, even when it's through the screen and virtually, it's just amazing to um, be great um, partners in this thing that we're creating. Um, so we, I love it. So thank you, Tammy. I'm thankful for you. Uh -oh. I'm thankful you for you. So, so <laughs> well, I am so grateful and thankful for you as well. I'm so grateful to God for putting you in my life. Thank you. Um, you're you're like another sister for me. So, and I think of you <laughs> as a sister. Um, mm -hmm. Even though we haven't ever met, but we, but I feel like we have. So, yeah. I mean, you know, Lori, of course, you guys just see it all over her, and she does so much for our team here. She's so good at all of your technical stuff and always being positive and encouraging and inspiring others. And you just, you wear your heart on your sleeve. And I just mm -hmm. appreciate you for all the little things. I mean, there's so many things that I just can't go through. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we didn't plan this people we didn't plan no, this we, no. we were here to talk about gratitude but then when I was starting to mention things I'm like of course I'm grateful for Tammy and but we are also so grateful for all of you our followers our viewers the people that contribute and support collaborate with comments and for the people that was that were there trusting what we were going to deliver on Friday and also for the ones that weren't able to be there uh, for one reason or another that will want to watch. And we have some news for you, Tammy. Do you want to tell them? Uh, so for those who wanted to watch but couldn't be there, we just need you to put private. Um, please send me the link mm -hmm. in the comments. And we are going to send you our link to our virtual page so you can see the recording. We're going to have a form where we're going to need your email address to send you that link. Um, the video is going to be on YouTube in a private, uh, non-public link. And also is definitely going to be there in the group where we're going to host li our live events like this, different than our, our broadcast, our, our live events every Tuesday. So we will help you understand better. We will make a po create a post where you're going to send us, there's a form, very short form where you're going to uh, do your sign up with your email address so we can send that to you. So we're very, very grateful for all of you viewers, supporters, and moving on, Tammy, can I tell a story about gratitude, a gratitude experience with one of my eight kids? <laughs> of course. He was being so bitter. He was being very uh, hard to deal with. And like many of the children growing up and being teenagers and finding themselves in this world, he was acting what I called a little bit entitled and taking blessings, taking some privileges for granted. In a nutshell, that's what I was happening, right? So it's to not give a lot of details, which is very common. And this is child number five. And I'm like, okay, I've seen this before, you know, with the other children. And I was learning myself how to write a gratitude journal. Or some people have their own gratitude journal just exclusively for that, which it's amazing. Or if you do it that way, congratulations, that's that's great. For me, I write in my da daily diary or journal and every entry I write, I always end up with like 10 items I'm grateful for. So I was wanting this child to you are acting this way, you did it. And I had my little mommy lecture conversation. And I said, if you don't want to lose some privileges and be grounded, I want you to try this. This is the grounding version, which is going to be for you to, for 21 days, write 20. I know I went a little bit extreme, write 20 things on what are you grateful for? And if you cannot repeat you need to come up with something new every day. Oh, no, that's so lame. That is going to be so hard. And 
I can repeat. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I want you to really dig, 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 because there is something new for 21 days, 20 things for you to write down. What are you thankful for? And I know, I know that's hard. Even me with every journal entry that I do to think of 10 things that are kind of new or different or deeper than just my eyes, my hair, my face, I can breathe, this guy, you know, it's hard. And Tammy, the, I'm going to finish my story by saying that he was so grateful for that punishment or that grounding because he learned to appreciate even those small things. He is the one serving a full-time mission right now for, for the church we go to. <laughs> and I don't think it's it's because of that, that grounding, but I think it's because he it helped him understand all these things. And he is, I don't know if this one is considered a third world country, but he is in a country where things are very hard and things that we have here that we assume and we take for granted he is serving in a place that portable, you know, water, water is not easy or he needs to walk everywhere. He doesn't even have any means of transportation except for his two feet, except for tuk-tuks or public transportation when he goes a little bit further out. But he loves it. He loves the people and he is grateful for that experience. He's coming back this December and I'm excited. Um, but I just want to help you understand with this story that I believe that when we, even if we force ourselves to think of those things that we take for granted and write them down often, I don't, I'm not going to tell you how often that's, that's, that's according to you and your desire, but there's exercises and it's been proven that when you have a grateful heart and you acknowledge those blessings, um, more, you attract even more of those blessings and life is better and more positive. Go ahead, Tammy. Sorry. <laughs> oh, exactly. I mean, that is one of the things I always, well, I wrote about it in my book. You know, you should be thankful and write it down. And if you don't write it down, at least, at least say it out loud, what you're thankful for. I guess one of the quotes that made me always think about that is what if God took away the things you didn't mm -hmm. say you were thankful for? Oh, wow. That is powerful. You didn't have them there the next day. Kind of like when you're saying, when you, if you don't have water or when your power goes out, you're like, oh, you don't, it was like, oh my gosh, I'm so thankful for hot showers, you know, mm -hmm. or power to do this or water. Water is huge. You know, it's like you said, it's those little things. And, um, my granddaughter, I was talking to her a couple of weeks ago and she's like, one of the things I do, grandma, when I start feeling like I'm being kind of selfish is I read a book or watch a story that's kind of sad and it reminds me to be grateful. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, at first I'm going, why are you watching this? But then I was like, well, if it's teaching me to be more grateful, then fine. But nobody wants to be around the victim people mm -hmm. that are always non-grateful. And whining, whining, yeah. whining and complaining and Playing the victim it was like, you're responsible for your attitude. And it starts with being grateful. Yes. I, uh, speaking of that, and, and in my book, I wrote down at the end, like, are you going to renounce to being a victim or are you going to become a victor? Like victory, victorious, no matter what. I love here. I see Daryl Crawford and he says, you too, Rock, love your passion. <laughs> Thank you so much for your support, Mr. Daryl. <laughs> And we are so grateful for our family. Oh, and yes. Yeah, let us do this and um, support us. We are grateful for that support. I am too. I am too. So what is it that you are grateful for? I love what you said, Tammy. Definitely, definitely. What if you are taking away all those things that you take for granted? Um, my parents, I'm original from Puerto Rico, KLS Fuerte. If you're watching this, you know, in the Caribbean, she's lived in the Caribbean, right? And there's many hurricanes. When my parents went, they were the only ones there. All her children were in the United States, went through a horrible hurricane, a horrible hurricane. We talked to them like almost twice a day, <clears throat> almost every day, too many times when we were without talking to them and learning anything about them for like five days we were going bonkers. We were like, okay, how are they doing? Because there were power outages, everything went down, uh, towers, etc. Finally, we heard uh, about them, but, uh, and they were fine. But many people in the whole island 
we're without power, without water, without hot water, whatever. My sister and I just shared that we were feeling so guilty when we were when, when we were showering here because our fellow Puerto Ricans over there in the island were not. So like you said, Tammy, yes. Like what are those things like water that's coming from your shower head, water that's coming from your faucet, electricity, power, technology. I mean, there's so much to be thankful for. for yes. Oh, exactly. I know. And when you were talking about the hurricane, it reminded me, I mean, this was years ago, probably 20 years ago. I'm not sure. It was when that hurricane hit um, New Orleans and flooded and everything. Actually, my daughter and I were taking calls for Red Cross at that time. Oh, that's so cool. Two hours a day. But what was sad is we were like we were talking to the people mm -hmm. that were trapped in their homes, in their attics or on the rooftops and communicating with the helicopters to save them. And yeah, I'm like, how many hours, you know, 14 hours away and trying to do and to hear their heartbreaking stories and them not knowing if their family has survived and different things. So, you know, it's like, we need to be grateful for our family and for those that are important, those who lift us up and encourage and inspire, you need to take the time to either call them, message them or spend the day with them. Um, and that's one of the things we had kind of talked about last week and we're going to do is we're going to talk about how many minutes are in a day, how, you know, we all have the same amount of time and how to use it and to be more grateful for it. So I want to thank you for sharing that. It's so amazing to know that you were doing that in the midst of that chaos for some people and definitely tragedy happens, weather you know, things happen with the weather and, and, but those are opportunities to grow. Those are opportunities to reflect. And this is what's happening this week without any tragedies for now, right? Let's just pray exactly. that it stays like that, but let's reuse this week to more purposefully and intentionally reflect on these things that we are grateful for. And now I want to invite you, if you're watching this later on, when you watch this broadcast later on, Share your experiences, Tammy. I shared my experience with my son. Share, uh, Tammy shared her experience with the Red Cross. I mean, what are your experiences where you have been grateful for somebody else or you have done something for someone else and they were grateful for you? I mean, let's let's adopt, let's, um, let's implement this attitude of gratitude like 24-7, right? Well. And, and, and I was going to say, um, you and I make calls to um, different people throughout the week, and sometimes just on Messenger, or leave a little um, something inspirational or encouraging or um, mm -hmm. try to come. And one of the um, feedbacks that I got, you know, messages, I get so many positive feedbacks, but was this um, one friend was like, I've been having a horrible, for the last five weeks have been some of the worst things that I've been going through on my life. But she has been sharing nothing but gratitude quotes and positive quotes and inspiring quotes. She's like, because I find when I inspire others, it helps me to get through that, this rough patch. Absolutely. It does help. And it makes a difference um, when someone is in turmoil or passing or bedridden, you can mm, dwell on that or you can recreate in your head the memories of you guys together having a great time, the memories of that person at their, at their peak of their life, you know, when yes, sadness happens. It's not like we're going to be an ostrich and bury our head in the sand, but then instead of wallowing or dwelling on the negative or the bad or the lack or what's not, let's think of what, what is, what we do have. Um, and the blessings or the good memories with the persons. I want to um, ask, say, Tammy, can you think of ideas, creative ideas of um, demonstrating or showing or expressing gratitude? You already said this person posts very positive memes and all that. I can think of a fun way um, our kids youth group oh, does a lot. And it's the door attacks. They also call them heart attacks, but I don't I don't like heart attacks because that's more like a, a health and physical thing. But what they do is they it's usually like in the Valentine season, but I think we can do this anytime. Um court uh cut heart shapes with paper and think of someone that needs it. 
that needs, you know, a widow or a single person or that, that is struggling or is depressed or something. Um, like, especially during the holiday, I, I mentioned single people that are alone, that don't have family or relatives to celebrate with, or this can be very challenging times for people sometimes to celebrate holidays. And you can create a lot of hearts, turkeys, whatever it is, the shape and silhouette of something fun, write down a lot of qualities. Thanks for doing this. You are amazing. You're charitable. You're compassionate. Whatever it is that you want to write, you can twist it and create your own version of this. Go anonymously at a time where you don't ring the doorbell or nothing with painter's tape. <laughs> Put all these hearts oh, in, the so cute. In, in the person's door. Even if it's your sibling's door or your parents' door, if they're if they're away, you can heart attack or door attack their door and put that in and then leave and anonymous. You don't even need to say you did it or whatever. It's just the good feeling that happens when you know that you uh, without destroying property. That's why I emphasize painter's tape. <laughs> oh, and, and I'm thinking, okay, I'm imagining, I'm like doing it with like leaves this time oh, of year. Oh, that's adorable, yes. Or Christmas trees for Christmas time or a little snowman. I mean, you could think about, you know, like you said, get creative, but no, that is awesome. Where people do like toilet paper thing that went since the pandemic. I haven't heard many people doing that anymore, <laughs> you know. Have you heard that? Like toilet paper, their trees. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. As a prank, you can do it. Toilet paper is too expensive to do that anymore. <laughs> I know, right? That's what I mean. So you can twist it and be more positive to elevate people instead of whatever, playing a prank. So, I mean, what other ways are, are out there that you can, uh, creative ways that you, I love your twist too, like Christmas trees i we did it one time to a young man that loves to play the electric guitar um we door attacked his uh door with electric guitar silhouettes saying oh. good things so oh. electric guitar <laughs> but oh. yeah be creative well and, and i've seen people that um put uh, something they're thankful for daily on their facebook live during the whole month of november and um versions of people you know you're sitting around the table at thanksgiving oh, and yeah. say one thing that you're grateful for those are some ideas you know absolutely and it, we can go back to history like thank you for this country thank you for my teacher i had in first grade i still have memories of that teacher and the influence they created in you know in me um when I need to like go deep, I, I, my mind goes to these places in a positive way. Many people recreate many negative things that happen. And that's, that's, you know, the clinical hypnosis work that I do help them, you know, release and remove and, re, you know, re, release these things and reframe this, this, this incidents. But let's just remember the good and the positive. Who was it that caused a good influence? What experience? What what vacation did you go to? Tammy and I just want, you know, wanting to create experiences and adventures for people in nature, right? So what experiences have you had already in nature? And, you know, feeling the sunshine, feeling the wind, the ocean, you know, the water in your body, in your ears. What Be grateful for that. Oh, exactly. I mean, one of the things I do is I take photographs and I think it's because I'm so grateful for like, um, the Northern lights that I had shared, mm -hmm. so yes. being able to see that and to experience it is amazing. You know, it's not like, I mean, sunsets are beautiful. I mean, just being out able to go outside and see the beauty around us and the nature. So, and I shared the quote in the group the other day, um, or I guess it was yesterday, pay it forward. It's about caring and sharing. It's about compassion and kindness. It's about generosity. It's about sacrifice and love. You get what you give. So give good. Mm -hmm. That's amazing, Tammy. Beautiful one. I, I love that you shared the Northern Lights and in, just in nature, there's so much to be grateful for, for, for what God's creation gives us. Right. So oh, I, oh, exactly. <laughs> I want to, I want to, um, do this and and for you guys to feel this sense of community here in this group and we can foster this through being uh, grateful tammy is it time to present a challenge we haven't presented a challenge in a long time <laughs> but let's present the um 
the Thanksgiving gratitude challenge. What is that? What is that about? <laughs> so for each day, um, and I will try to post a photo to help because, and you can post with a photo or a quote or just a story in the underneath, um, something that you're grat grateful for. And maybe one day we can do family for the next week. We, one day we could do friends. One day we can do nature. One day we could do art. Um, you know, and if you guys have ideas, what things that we could add in there, um, please let us know. So experiences, things, nature, whatever it is that you're grateful for leading up to Thanksgiving this Thursday, but for between now and next Tuesday, hey, remember, we're going to be, be grateful more than just this week, right? So we can express gratitude each day lead, leading up to Thanksgiving or all, all the way to next week. Um, share, share a picture, share a little story, anything about gratitude. So we're going to call this the Thanksgiving Gratitude, Get Ready to Challenge. And we invite all of you to participate and, and share with us. And since this is so new, give me a couple hours to pick, get it out <laughs> because yeah. we did not plan this. So um, yes, we'll do our gratitude journal. So yep, gratitude challenge, gratitude posts. And we just want to say again and again that we're grateful for you, our viewers, our followers, supporters, people that uh, like and comment. And um, we are grateful for you because this is what this community is about exactly and so and like Lori mentioned make sure you like you love you share um if you know other people this would help then you know friends family invite them to join our group here um and like we said we are going to also be posting a link uh, for you to give us your email and so that you can join our virtual retreat area so you can see our um, virtual retreat from last friday as a gift from us so it's our way to show and share how grateful we are for you. Yay, it's a wonderful gift. Okay, so we are going to see you next week. Do we have a guest next week, Tammy? We, we do. Ooh, do you want to say a little so, bit about that? Or So our guest next week is actually someone that is was here before. And... Um, She's a wonderful guest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to, she's going to leave us hanging. That's great. That's great. The suspense the, the is suspense, awesome. The suspense, right? <laughs> the suspense is awesome. We want to leave you with a video that Tammy created. Tammy um, may edit this video with a lot of her own pictures in nature. So we want to share it with you today too. And um, we'll see you next week. Okay. Have a great week and happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you too, Tammy. Here it is.